All right, guys, what's up? Um, just released today. Um, I'm getting really sick and tired of making videos for this custom firmware. I really hope this is the last one. Custom firmware uh, 635 uh, version. What the fuck is it? Version 17 came out. Uh, I will have a video on that. Um, also. Uh, custom firmware 637 ME-6 just came out. So this is the video for custom firmware 637-6. Now, before you do anything, this is only for PSP 2000 models version 1 and 2. Not the third one with the new motherboard that, well, not the one that has the same motherboard as the 3000. So this is only for PSP 2000s. Uh, it will not work with the 1000, it will not work with the 3000, it will not work with the 2000 version 3 or version 2. Oh, wait, no, yeah, never mind. And, um, yeah. So, uh, the file I'm going to have you download is right here. It's the release 637ME6. And all you're going to do is either right click on that and say extract files to wherever is comfortable for you, or open that up with an extraction program. Inside there, you're going to see the release 637ME6, and if you open that up, you're going to see a README text and an update folder. Inside the update folder, you will see the eBoot. Now, <clears throat> if you are running on 5.00 custom firmware, and you wish to update to this custom firmware, you don't have to update to uh, 637ME or anything, and then update to this. You can just simply download the 637 official PVP, which I will have for download on this video. And after taking the update folder and putting it in the PSP game folder, put the 637 eBoot into uh, where this one is located, into the release 637ME6 folder. And then just run the updater, and uh, it'll boot up, and you're good to go. So, leave it to where you're seeing the update folder. Now what you're going to do, take your PSP Slim 2000, and you're going to connect it into USB mode. So we're going to do that like so. Connect that into USB mode, and go to computer, and you're going to look for your removable disk for the PSP. Open up the PSP folder, and open up the game folder, and all you're going to do is take this update folder, and drag and drop that into the PSP game folder and let that copy over now like I said the official firmware 637 PVP you're gonna rename it as 637 PVP and place it in here with this custom firmware eboot and uh, that's only if you're updating to to like this firmware from a lower firmware uh, unfortunately it's only 5.00 so if you want to be on this firmware you're gonna have to downgrade to 5.00 custom firmware and then update because for some reason it doesn't update from 5.50 I don't know why it just doesn't and uh, yeah so we're gonna leave it at that and uh, disconnect the PSP from USB mode and what you're gonna do now is I might as well check my firmware just to show you guys as you can see I'm 637ME-5 uh, running on this and I'm just going to go over to the game category and you're going to look for the PSP update version 637 it's not going to have one of those circular symbols on it like all the other update things do and you're just going to start that up <coughs> ow just getting over being sick sucks 637 installer by Neuron press X to start the update so you're going to update it it's going to do a whole bunch of flash zero shit and then it'll restart automatically in about six seconds. Now, what this update does is it fixes the bug in the VSH menu that was in the last version, and it, it uh, allows you to flash and reset the settings in Flash 1 and Flash 2 now. So if you use Flash 1 and Flash 2 to, like, say, put a picture on the background and use a wave over the picture, and uh, something goes wrong, you can go into the recovery menu, you can flash restore Flash 1 and 2, and you won't have to worry about restoring your whole firmware, which is kind of cool. So, uh, VSH menu is the same. And uh, if we go over to system settings and go to system information, it'll be 637ME-6. 
So that's how you update your 637 custom firmware or install 637 custom firmware. I will have a link to this file as well as the official firmware eboot that you can use um, towards your benefit if you want to update to this firmware. It supports all the new games, it supports emulators, the homebrew works. A few homebrew doesn't work still. I haven't tested this out yet because I just updated it now. And uh, but I will make a review on this, and I actually have a lot of reviews to make. I gotta make a review on uh, fuck, I forgot to make a review on five. Oh well, five, five was bogus though, it doesn't deserve a review. So, um, but I will review uh, ME 6, and I'm gonna review um, Pro B, and uh, yeah, so take it easy, guys, and I will talk to you later. Rate, comment, subscribe questions ask him be happy to answer and uh, any recommendations for any other videos leave a comment on my channel page and I will get back to you ASAP so thanks for watching and enjoy